Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our fifth grade program. Uh, we've had so much fun working on this musical for you for the last couple of months. Um, tonight's musical is called Joust, a mighty medieval musical, um, which is a new take on the story of King Arthur and the Sword of the Stone. Sword in the Stone, sorry. Um, so, I hope... I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we certainly did. We've got some fun moments for you tonight. So we're going to go ahead and get started.
Very nice, very nice. Okay, okay. We get it. You've all known the legend of King Arthur. If not, let me tell you. Oh, Merlin, let us tell it. You'll go on for days. Well, I guess that would be all right. It was but I. It was the day of the big joust. All the knights were gathered in the roped-off areas with their armor, horses, weapons, and attended by their young squires. Squires were men who hoped one day to be knights themselves. The squires do everything for their knights, including getting them ready for the joust. Remember, Arthur was a squire for Sir Hector. Everyone is gathered for the biggest joust of the year. It's like the World Series of all jousts. The Stanley Cup. The Super Bowl. The Olympics of the jousting world. Enough already. Let's have a song. He reaches town square and realizes he is only halfway home. He 
knows he'll never make it all the way back to the joust. Grab Sir Hector's sword and get back to the joust in time for Sir Hector to participate. Now this is where I have to remind you of the legend of King Arthur. You will recall from your lessons that when the king, Arthur's father, died, there was no heir to the throne. That'll teach him to give his son away. So the royal court had a sword placed in a stone in the middle of town square. The legend says that whomever can pull that sword out of the stone will be the rightful heir to the throne. They would become the king. I just said that. It is in front of this sword-stabbed stone that Squire Arthur finds himself as he's raising home to retrieve Sir Hector's sword. What you probably don't recall from this famous legend is that only a few steps away from that stone was another rock. It's sticking out of that rock was something even more beautiful and enticing than the former king's sword. And that's what caught Arthur's attention. <clears throat> Two stones. Each is something interesting protruding from it. I only have time to choose one and get back to the joust. This one is most certainly a sword and sees a lot of the choice. But this one is more colorful and sees full of many fantastic possibilities. I'm taking this one. Does this at all sound familiar to you? Well, watch what happens next. My lord, my lord, I brought you the best instrument I could find. Isn't it colorful? What? What is it? I have no idea, but isn't it beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful indeed, but what can it do? It was the stone, it was this tube that was sticking out of the rock in town square. Everyone knows whoever pulled it out is the rightful heir to the throne. I thought that was a sword. Yeah. Duh, it looks for those. Yeah.
until the rumor has it, there was an attack coming from France. Your Majesty, rumor has it there's an attack coming from France. I just said that. An attack from France? Oh no! And all we have to fight with are these colorful boomlackers. <laughs> What are we going to do? I think we should sing a rap. What? I mean, rounds are good. Here, gather around my round table and I'll show you what I mean.
important to boom rockers and live side by side with our neighbors in friendship. And we dancers are backing them up by not being nice to the men until they go along with the king. That's the way it's always to be. I think that sounds like a great idea. The problem is friends are invading. So I don't think they're going to be armed with only boom whackers. This is all my fault. I truly, I truly, I truly believe we wouldn't need weapons if we always did the right thing and worked hard for a land filled with harmony. And now for my entire kingdom in jeopardy. And then something very 
something special begin to happen.
um, there was a little bit of extra work involved. And um, how about all these boys over here? with me um, and thank you to um, some very special teachers who helped me um, come up with props and costumes and um, and just checked on me and, and asked what I needed and, and things like that so thank you um, 